Warning, this video is created for the educational use and to show the various techniques of the wireless penetration testing. Using this information for the malicious activity can send you behind the jail. In this video, we have used our own router for the demonstration, so don't be a fool and act smartly. What is going on guys? My name is Parvinder from PNP Tutorials and you are watching the PNP Tutorials channel. And in this tutorial, I am going to tell you that how you can hack the WPA2 routers with the WPS. So if you have the WPA routers with the WPS enabled, then just disable that feature that is the WPS. And WPS stand for the Wi-Fi protected setup. So what that feature allows you to do is when you will press WPS button, then you will be able to connect to your router without any password. This feature is quite vulnerable since we know that it is vulnerable so we are going to make the use of this feature and hack into the Wi-Fi's okay. So I have also a router which has the WPS enable feature and I will show you that how you can hack into that Wi-Fi router and after that once we have hacked our Wi-Fi router then we will try to secure a router so that someone could not hack into our Wi-Fi router. For hacking the Wi-Fi router all you need is the Linux operating system and the compatible Wi-Fi adapter. So I have installed the Kali Linux operating system into my laptop and my laptop has the compatible Wi-Fi adapter which can go into the monitor mode and hack the Wi-Fi routers. Okay, so I will open up my terminal and then I will install a tool called Wi-Fi. Since I have already installed that tool, so I'm not gonna do it again, but you have to enter this command and then further proceed. Okay, now I have installed that tool, so I wanna open up my tool and then I will hit enter. And they can see now it is enabling the monitor mode and the monitor mode has been enabled. And these are the Wi-Fi routers which are present around us. They can see the encryption encryption is WPA, WPA2 and WPA2 and so on. They can see there is a router that is youtube.com slash PNP tutorials. You cannot see the whole SSID here but its encryption is WPA2 and the WPS is available there. They can see the WPS is in the green color. So after that you need to press the control C and then enter your Wi-Fi router name. So I am going to hack my own Wi-Fi router for the demonstration and now I will enter the 2 here because my Wi-Fi router ESSID number is 2. So I will hit enter and now they can see it is running the pixie attack and it will take some time to hack into that router and they can see guys I have hacked into my router. WPS pin is this. WPA key is hi my name is Slim Shady. So this router has been hacked. Now how do we gonna secure a router from hacking? Okay so I have rebooted my system and now it's time to secure a router. So for that what you need to do is you need to configure your Wi-Fi router. Okay so I am going to plug in my Ethernet cable which is coming out from the router. So I have connected to my router with the LAN cable and they can see the LAN cable symbol right here. Now what I am going to do is I will open up my browser and then I will go to my default gateway but before we further proceed we need to know the gateway of our router. So for that there is a command and the gateway is 192.168.1.1. Now I will browse on this IP address. Now the username will be default admin or the user or the administrator. You can check out your default username and the password from the Google by entering your routers model number and by default the password will be the password and the admin if you haven't changed that password. I have changed my password so I am going to enter my one and I will click on OK and they can see this is my router configuration page. Now what I am going to do is I will look for the WPS option. Now I will go to the advanced setting and then I will go to the advanced setup. You may have the different GUI so you need to just look for the disable router spin. Okay so I have got this thing disable router spin. Now I will click on this check button and they can see disable router spin. Now it has been disabled and now I will click on the apply and once I will do that then there will be no one who can hack my particular router. So let me show you the demonstration that now 
I cannot hack into my router so for that I will again open up a tool called Wi-Fi and now it is again enabling the monitor mode and now I will not be able to get the internet connectivity okay so I will press the control C and then I will enter up my third number which is my own Wi-Fi router I will hit enter and this time it will again try to hack the Wi-Fi router but this time it does not able to get that password just because we have changed those setting into the Wi-Fi configuration page. So this is how we can prevent our routers from hacking. So if you have the WPA with the WPS routers then just change its settings and if you haven't changed yet then just change them because they are very vulnerable and it may happen that somebody could already hack into your Wi-Fi router so I will recommend you to change the password with change of settings and then further proceed so thanks for watching guys and if you guys like this video then don't forget to subscribe